And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Guys, in today's video as always, we are going to be going over all the latest Rangers news from the last 24 hours, that includes why Rangers have been handed a huge Champions League below. Uh, but first guys, I'm just going to touch upon it briefly because I know you're here to, and you're subscribed to hear news in regards to the Rangers men's team but there was a big game play today in the women's team as Rangers uh, took on Celtic in the old firm derby uh, which ended nil nil which put Celtic into the driving seat uh, for their first ever title in the women's uh, in the women's game it actually kind of mirrors our current situation at this moment in time of course um, Celtic and Rangers are level one point in the women's league uh, but Celtic have the far superior goal difference and if we win the game against Celtic next week and that will be the case in the men's game too but as stated uh, that game ended nil nil today and despite the Rangers women's team getting a lot of awards last night uh, they currently do sit second in the table and are level points on Celtic but after that game Celtic take one huge step towards the title due to their uh, superior goal difference now moving away from the women's game of course we've got a huge game coming up this weekend as Rangers do take on Celtic in a massive, massive game. And already after the weekend's results, uh, Celtic, of course, winning. Rangers, of course, winning as well. And both teams actually winning by a fair few goals. Both managers have been out and obviously added fuel to the fire ahead of the fixture this weekend. Of course, uh, Celtic starting that with Brendan Rodgers. Philippe Clement kind of biting to the fact and also stating that his team are going to be having fun too. Also there to, for fighting talk, which is what I like to see from the Rangers manager. But I just don't don't think he's got the players that will live up to it going into this clash. It's a huge, huge game. There's no doubt about it. Um, and it's a game that I'm really not confident about, despite um, us potentially taking a step towards the title. Potentially, even that. It, it, I'm just still super frustrated just how the season has panned out over the last six games. I've got to be perfectly honest with you. I'm still pissed off about it. A lot of fans, of course, getting behind the team, which I am. Of course I am. Ahead of the old firm game, of course. Of course I'm getting behind this team in every single match that we play but I just can't forgive some of these individuals that we have ultimately lost the title or losing the title potentially to in the games against Dundee, Ross County and Motherwell. I just can't forgive it and Whilst this title may, st may still be salvageable and we'll see what happens come the weekend, look, we might be able to get a win at Celtic Park and then all of a sudden it turns on its head a little bit and we can maybe claw back some goal difference or potentially Celtic could slip up again. Yes, we can win the title. I've seen funnier things happen in football. I just still can't believe had the manner and how that this title race is going at this moment in time. If you asked me after the international break with those two games against Dundee and Ross County, it almost seems unforgivable and after yesterday's performance um, against uh, against Kilmarnock despite us not uh, not playing that well uh, the way that Fabio Silva's kind of about doing this kind of stuff like that it just kind of sums up to me that we've got a team full of individuals at this moment in time we're actually struggling and we're not really got that team cohesive at this moment in time that everyone's there sort of fighting for themselves it's summering it up for me Everyone wants those individual accolades. Everyone wants to care about their own camp. You know, players' contracts coming to the end, players looking for moves, all these kind of things. It just screams to me there's no unitedness. There's no sort of togetherness going into this one. Um, and that way, Fabio Silva is doing all this, this sort of crap just kind of summed it up for me. But um, I'm hoping that this team can do us a huge turn this weekend against Celtic. Um, of course, if we do win, yes, it doesn't necessarily mean that we're in the, in the pole position for the time title but it certainly gives us a chance we lose it Celtic have won their 54th league title which again I will come to the end of the season we'll see what happens we'll look at the results come the end of the campaign and talk about it then um, but if this team ships this title I know they have a standing a chance it does look like it's going to be shipped in in this moment in time but if they shipped it from from the position we're in some of these players have to be gutted out and I will be standing by it and I will be asking uh, everyone to get behind me and stating and try and get our voices heard to get some of these players out that have gifted them this title and I'm still pissed off but here's hoping we can do ourselves a favour going into it this weekend anyway 
Moving away from it, guys, obviously a lot to say, as I always do, with regards to the stuff. Uh, as you can see, I've probably been turning to alcohol over the last couple of weeks, uh, watching Rangers, which has been super frustrating. But, um, of course, look, if we win the title, we go straight into the Champions League. But we have hand been handed a blow um, if we were to finish second. As I stated a couple of times, there was a scenario to happen if we finish second this season that we could still go into the Champions League league phase due to our high coefficient. However, that now has been a officially blocked. Basically what we needed was Bayer Leverkusen to go on and win the Europa League and we wanted Sporting not to win the title. However, uh, Benfica dropped points yesterday and Sporting were crowned champions of Portugal, which now means there is no way for Rangers to go into the Champions League automatically if they finish second due to Benfica having a higher coefficient than us. Um, so there you go. Rangers, if they want to go into the league phase of the Champions League, they'll have to win the title this season there is no way for us to automatically go in finishing second of course if you need reminded if we do finish second yes we champions league football is still up for grabs but of course we'll have to go through two two-legged qualifiers starting with the third qualifying round and then going into the playoff round and then of course this breaks up your summer you don't get as much rest as we've kind of seen over the last few years. Last se This season, sorry, we failed. Uh, the season before, we passed. We went through the qualifiers and managed to get a place in the Champions League uh, group phases. Um, but as always, it's a tough ask to do. Um, and again, it's just super, super frustrating. It just comes down to this frustration that I currently have with this team that... Um, 60 to 70 million pounds. Uh, Celtic would take a giant leap if they win the title. Um, but look, we could still, of course, get into the Champions League if we were to finish second. But after last night's results, uh, we've had a huge blow. We won't be getting automatic Champions League football if we finish second this season, which is unfortunate in. Indeed. Uh, but that's kind of all I've really got for you today, Rangers fans. Of course, um, everything, all the content this week is going to be in the build-up to the Old Firm Derby, a huge game on the horizon. Um, again, I think I've spoke about the importance of it in this video, but I want to know your thoughts on the game down there in the comment section below. How are you feeling ahead of it? Are you confident? Is there a Rangers fan here that's really confident ahead of the game? Are you still confident that we can go on and win this title? Heck, are you even confident that we can go on and win a treble? I want to know some more positivity i want to hear the positivity um, in the rangers fan base so do let me know your thoughts and everything down there in the comment section below that brings us to the end of today's video as always please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily rangers content remember we do have rangers t-shirts available on our website so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or go to rcclothing.com thank you guys and i'll see you all next time take care peace